What are you cautious about a cheating partner? Being vigilant about the the toxicity of a relationship or marriage. Just be mindful about something new that is in the market. Actually, it's not new. It's just that people took it for granted. Be mindful or watch out for the use of cell phones with your partner. You need to make some ground rules about how you guys should use a phone. There's nothing disrespectful about being with someone who's always on their phones. During lunch times, you're going on picnics, they're on their phones. At home, you're watching TV, they're on their phones. In the bedrooms, they're just constantly in their phones. So, you know, this is another form of a toxic relationship or marriage because this person, when someone is enjoying being on their phones rather than your presence, it says a lot about you. There should be ground rules. When should you guys stop using the cell phones? There should be cut off times as couples so that you enjoy one another. You can't be on a restaurant and then one of you is like enjoying their phones, they are chatting and what so on. Well, I mean, I understand you guys taking pictures together, but when are you going to find time to actually bond, to actually have that silent bond with you guys? I mean, other things are taking your attention already, especially when you get home, like your television, you know. But at least that you are sharing it, you are watching it. At least silent connection is still there. But the, so the, but the cell phones, guys, 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 you need to make some rules with your partner. You can't be on your phone all the time. Otherwise, you are inviting other people to be part of your relationship. You are inviting other things to be part of your relationship. As a result, it is going to be controlled by the outside energies, outside people that influence. That is why sometimes, you know, you see your partner is changing constantly. It might be influenced by the people that they chat with, you know. The influence, they notice things about them. They tell them that they are beautiful constantly, something that you don't do. But now, if, if you don't learn, if you don't get an opportunity to learn one another, then you're going to be screwed because now other people are going to take over because you guys have invited them into your relationship or marriage for that matter, the use of cell phones. Disrespect on another level. I don't advocate it. There should be rules when it comes to phones. I mean, I understand we live in a digital world, but now there needs to be like some sort of like a timetable, a schedule, or, or some sort of like a way of you guys can break it down. I mean, you can come with any rules as long as the use of cell phones are not going to be too much compared to the time that you guys spend together. Are you aware of there are people who spend time who assume that they are spending time together, but they are, they are always on their phones. That is a toxic marriage. That is a toxic relationship. They are enjoying what is outside than what's inside. You can't be on your phone while you are eating together. You can't be on your phone while you are at home. Yes, minimal use of your phone, but not constantly. Rules. Be careful. Unga to beg of vigilant about um, cheating and what other forms of toxicity God umundu wako unabandabandinga seba invite hile kule relationship normal umshato through the use of the cell phone